Hi, and welcome again to another uh, video on Ranger. This time we've uh, installed Ranger and uh, we want to log in and set it up. Um, we're going to connect Ranger to a cloud provider that spins up resources. Um, and Ranger can do that for you. That's very, very easy. Just with a few clicks, you can provision new, new compute resources. Um, and these resources can live on any cloud or nearly any cloud provider. And this today we're going to connect to DigitalOcean, uh, but even on-premise is possible. So VMware vSphere is also one of the options. Let's have a look. We've uh, installed Docker uh, or the Ranger Docker container in the previous video. And after a while, you get to see this web interface. Um, we need to set up a username and password. I'll use a simple one in this case. This is quite a powerful uh, permission uh, you're using because you can spin up new resources. So be aware that this is a secure uh, password. Um, where is Ranger living? And this needs to be a publicly available URL. We'll use an IP in this case. Probably a domain name is a bit more logical. So here it is, the web interface, and we need to hook it up to some cloud provider. And we can do that here, here, cloud credentials. There's no credentials, of course, add one. In this case, DigitalOcean, call it uh, at finish, almost right. And it needs, in this case, a token. All cloud providers need some kind of a secret to connect to them. So that's configured. Um, and that's it. From now on, we can make no templates. We'll do that in the next video and provision a cluster. And we'll do that in a video after this one. As you can see, it's super easy to set up. Uh, you can even connect it to multiple cloud providers and run one Kubernetes cluster on uh, AWS and another one on a different cloud provider. That's it for today. See you next time.